welcome back to my channel my name is Reese Jordan and I am a PA student um, and this is my ninth and final rotation which is OBGYN but before we get into that if you haven't clicked the subscribe channel down below please do so for more updates on where I am in my journey what I'm thinking about and just basically what's next for me but let's just jump right into this so I'm a little late um, I apologize. I did OBGYN about two weeks ago and finished. And I also had a birthday, September baby, Libra Nation. But anyway, so um, if you watch the news and you're in the United States or anywhere in the world, you know that we had a hurricane called Hurricane Florence. Quick little tidbit. Um, I live in Florence. My school is in Florence. So when they said Hurricane Florence, I'm running around I'm like, oh my gosh, the hurricane is going to hit Florence. It's going to hit Florence. And then, because at, at first they were saying that it wasn't. So I was like, oh my gosh, they're lying. And then somebody just tapped me and was like, that's the name. And I was like, oh. Yeah, I have my moments as well. But um, it was horrible in the sense that I really didn't get the experience exposure that I wanted from this rotation um, due to the hurricane. So the hurricane came um, and it came during my second, third week. So my third week. So I really didn't get a chance to finish um, like how I wanted, but it's still worth doing a video because I still learned a lot, saw a lot, got a chance to do a lot, and I'm excited to share with you. So nonetheless, without further ado, let's just get to that point. So, on my very first day of my rotation, I reported to the OR. Now, if you've been keeping up with me, you know that my last rotation was general surgery. So, I was like, okay, I got this. Came in, got a little lost because I'm not familiar with this hospital. I was actually down at the beach. So, I was just like, oh goodness, you know, I don't know where to go. So, I was directed basically to the OR because I was at labor and delivery. Had to get... Um, directed there changed my clothes and um, when I went to scrub in before I scrubbed in they had these little booties that you actually put on which is not like the booties we put in on in general surgery like the ankle booties these booties came all the way up to your knees because doing c-sections and hysterectomies and stuff can be very bloody so I had to put those on scrub in and then gown and glove and I was ready to go so I met my doctor she is so amazing and I got a chance to see my very first baby <laughs> and I was so speechless but nonetheless it was beautiful just seeing you know a woman give birth even though it wasn't a vaginal delivery but it was still special baby was weighing like nine pounds so I see why she got a c-section and there's many other reasons for getting a c-section like um, elective c-section maybe she just wanted it or maybe she had a previous c-section before or either she was if she was an older female way back in the day they used to do vertical cuts and that's a dead giveaway for another c-section because those women are not allowed to give vaginal birth just a tidbit so um, after that we, we go to the clinic um, and we see patients now in the clinic she kind of let me run the show not my first two days but by day three she was like okay go get this patient out the waiting room okay um, do the vital signs okay go in you know find the fetal heartbeat measure the fundus um, ask the patient if they have anything that's going on with them that they would like to discuss any concerns etc come back out report to me and then we'll go see the patient together and that's pretty much how every single day went except for Tuesdays when she did OR um, we besides OB part well to finish up with OB I even saw the 20 week anatomy scans which was so cool some of the time I had no idea where she was with the um, with the little Doppler but much love to people who do um, ultrasound because half the time I'd be like lost in the dark for those of you who don't know my program did not teach us ultrasound reading so I'd be like I don't know what I'm looking at but sometimes like by 20 weeks we can see the baby face and the heart and the crown the rump 
you know, length and all that stuff. So that was cool. Um, okay, next. So then we also had women that came in for their yearly. They had a pap smear. They had the GNC swab. Um, we discussed things that they was having, made sure they were doing their self-breast examinations. When was the last mammogram? Um, you know, things like that. And then we also had our acute or episodic visits where women would come in with vaginal bleeding, which is the most common complaint. Um, and sometimes it's most commonly in the older women that I've seen. I've, we've had to do endometrial biopsies, which was pretty cool. And we've had to go in and do DNCs. Um, some women, sad enough, they lost their child before 20 weeks. So that's called abortion or spontaneous abortion, inevitable, threatened, you know, it depends on if the os is closed, open, etc. But we won't get into all that. We had to do a dilation with the little tubes, which is pretty cool how you can dilate the cervix. And then it's a blind procedure, which is scary for me. <laughs> um, you have to go in and scrape and just hope you got everything because if you didn't scrape well enough, she can come back with infection, sepsis, um, and just terrible vaginal bleeding and you just don't want that for your patient or for you quite frankly so that was a little scary but at the time god thank you i'm still a student and that's not my worry right now um so what else we've also had young young women come in for their first OBGYN visit which was special for me because i got a chance to you know, talk to them and kind of get to know them. And they're so shy and cute and timid and they have no idea what to expect. And it's funny. It's not funny, but it's funny. And then on top of that, if you know me, you know I'm a coastal alumni. So I got a chance to meet a couple of people, the newbies that's going to my alma mater. And it was just cool connecting with people. As you can tell, I'm not shy at all. I'm very friendly and I love talking to people, getting along with people, interacting with people. So that's just me. Um, what else? I got a chance to see how you insert pellets. So pellets was kind of new for me because I'm like, what is that? And so for those of you who don't know, people, well, women come in in postmenopausal state. They're having the hot flashes. Um, they just feel fatigued. They feel groggy. They don't have any energy. They just feel like bleh, um, because all of their estrogen is gone. So um, they come in and they go through this little in-office procedure called pellet insertion, which um, I, again, I never knew about and I watched my doctor basically, um, she numbed up the, the place. First of all, it's on the buttocks on the side. So she kind of numbed it up and then she put this very thick tube in, in there. Like she made a insertion, a little incision, I'm sorry. Then she inserted the tube in there and she had these little like tiny looking rock pill looking things and she just input it in and some were testosterone and some was estrogen and they last you for about six months it's like a 300 400 dollar procedure and women come in and they do it um another fun fact about my doctor she also did acupuncture in ob and i was just like really and the women actually come to her and it was very cool to like see her in her practice and just experience all the different things that we can do. And of course you have older women who don't have a primary care and they use OBGYN for their primary care. So I saw a lot of that. And what was really neat about the, um, the office we were in is we had our lab person on site in in the office so anytime we need a blood drawn or whatever we just send them right there and they were through lab core so it was wonderful um we really didn't have too many hiccups with insurance companies i know for surgery we really did people couldn't get certain things because the insurance wouldn't cover pay for it, pre-authorizations all this stuff you still do have that in ob but at the facility i was at not really i mean most of our patients that came in had insurance or either they had WIC or whatever they had because they had it. Um, 
what else can I say? I got a chance to see twins not being born, but I got a chance to see them on ultrasound. So that was really cool. And then um, I had a chance to see two vaginal births. I was with a midwife for the afternoon and then I was with the other doctor who worked there. It was awesome. Um, I have never seen something so beautiful before. And again, my face just dropped. And then I just instantly fell in love and I wanted to follow the baby around everywhere and make sure the baby was okay. I got a chance to see circumcision on um, a newborn, maybe like two to three days after delivery, which was cool. So guys, like even though the hurricane came and tried to take away my rotation that I waited for since January, I still did enjoy it and I still did learn a lot. So um, if you have any questions, make sure you leave them below about OBGYN or anything that you would like for me to do a video on. But moving forward, as you can see, I got this shirt on because I just got through taking my graduation pictures. Yes, after this week, graduation will be eight weeks away, exactly. Last week, we just ordered our cap, gown, and hoods. So my master's degree is on the way and it's too real right now. I also paid my $500 for my pants, which is non-refundable, I believe. And, um, well, I don't want it to be refundable because I worked too hard over the last 27 months. I need to take this test. So please, if you want, if you're a prayer warrior and you want to say a prayer for me, please pray that I pass my pants, which will be January the 16th. I'm taking my pants. January the 16th, please pray for me. Um, but I'm very excited. I'm applying to a residency. Um, I don't really want to say where and when and all that stuff yet until I know for sure if I got in or not. Um, but if I don't get in, you'll know because obviously I won't mention it. But um, the best of luck. We're not going to speak negativity and I am applying for jobs as well. I'm currently on my last rotation. This is my first week and I am in psychiatry. I could not help myself. I do love psychiatry as well as um, my all other specialties. But that one, while I was on rotation, I had a lot of fun, saw a lot of cool things. And I, I don't know, I guess I, I just like psych. But um, I'll let you guys know how that's going in the next video in the next three weeks. Until then, guys, keep me in prayer. May positive vibes be with you. May motivation, energy, and encouragement be with you. And I hope that y'all stay safe until we meet again. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.